late 80s and early 90s, comics harkened back to those wondrous days of the great movie houses of the 50s and early 60s, and brought in cheap and tawdry gimmicks like foil and lenticular fold-out pop-up covers to attempt to mask the fact that these books were more style than substance. Oh, except for the one that you liked, of course. The publishers of Valiant Comics bought so heavily into this concept, they created a Valiant Vision starter kit, with 3D glasses included. Indeed, just looking at these things reminds me of when I went to a midnight showing of Jaws 3D and, well, Dennis Quaid. Enough said, am I right? Anyhow, join us, won't you, as we take a little trip down memory lane and here, let me just put these things on and, uh, yes, um, oh, oh, oh my, I, I seem to be, uh, oh, oh, oh my, is that the floating head of David Brancaccio? Um, he, he's speaking to me, Light, lights are swirling everywhere, and, uh, uh, no, I will not do that, Corva Coleman, uh, how dare you even suggest, wait, 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 how much whipped cream? Oh, oh, well, oh my, oh, well, uh, yeah, okay, it's, uh, it's been a fantasy of mine for many years, but still, I, uh, oh, yes. What's happening? I, I don't know, I, I think he's tripping balls, man. Michelle Norris! <laughs> oh, say it again. Michelle! <laughs> oh, 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 stop that, Miss Gross. Oh, shame on you. Oh, 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 I see how it is, Jack Spear. Afraid I'm muscling in on your territory, are you? No, these aren't your fillies, and I'm sure they resent having to refer to you as the Stable Master. Oh, you're the Alpha, is that it? Well, Carlton ain't no easy win, okay, baby? Bring me the bill, and I'm gonna throw you the change, you follow me? <laughs> Should we do something? Well, I'm gonna go pop some popcorn. This is comedy gold. Five times. Five times I tried to get a job with you losers. Okay, so I spilled coffee on you to Token Bird, but it's not my fault she holds a grudge like she's one of Token's dwarves. And why did Rocky Jones start calling himself Robert all of a sudden? Rocky's a fine butch name, and now he sounds like the keyboard player for one of the shittier incarnations of Toto. I mean, honestly, I...